name is Kupuli. Uh, I'm from uh, Cornerstone School, Zneboto district, from Nagaland State. I feel uh, it's a very good pl platform for everyone because it's not like that competition and all. It's it's um, a platform that everyone can enjoy here. Nobody feels that oh, we are in competition, we are scared like this. But everyone is lenient and everyone is good. Even the judges, they are very good. National Children's Science Congress is very helpful for uh, uh, children. I had gained a lot because it's a nice opportunity being here. Uh, from, I think, 9 lakh students, most top to, uh, 600 is to be selected. And I feel very privileged to be amongst the 600. I can't express my feelings in the words. I am very happy here and very excited. The second day of the National Children's Science Congress. National Children's Science Congress, full of excitement, hope and seriousness. It was a day of presentation for most budding scientists. Young scientists started arriving early in the morning at the venue where technical sessions were to be held. Myself as Anshim University, as a group leader of Team Optimist, is here to present my group before you on a main theme, Functions of Land, where we have selected our sub-theme as Earth Form as a soil indicator and done a study and research work on scientific and sustainable study of earthworms population and breeding in lands of poverty. Giving you a short introduction on the term earthworms, earthworms are an organism that tries to increase the rate of fertility of a land. But today, in the modern era, due to the excessive use of chemical fertilizers, insecticide, pesticide have led to decline in population of earthworm. And today, we need to maintain it. As India is an agricultural country, and if we continue to use these chemical fertilizers, then in future, a time will come when India will be no more than a wasteland. For this reason, we selected our survey area as Pavi and started the work over there. So the methodology which we adopted was that the main requirement of our project was water samples. So we undertook the area like District Faridkot. 58 samples of water were taken in 100 ml of bottle in duplicate. And with the help of GPS, the position of the place was located. These samples were further sent to Adesh Engineering College for testing. There we analyzed it for various parameters. So first is pH. We made the use of pH meter to check the pH value of water. So I would like to tell the result also that uh, water of district Faridkot is alkaline. It was the day when each of them were to present their labor of love and dedication before a panel of experts. Fruits of seven or eight months of intense toil was to be judged today. The excitement was not limited to self. They were eager to listen to their friends and participants from other estates. The young scientists had focused their research on the problem of land use in their own area. The area of investigation was their own environment. My project is about the invasion of Congress grass. Uh, the Congress grass is very dominant in Jammu. It is invading all types of lands, uh, agriculture lands, pastures, wastelands. So, so we choose this project because it also causes various problems in humans like uh, asthma and, and dermatitis and it is affecting the land resources. It is more dominant in agricultural lands. So we chose this project. Our aim is to uh, make uh, awareness, uh, especially among the states of JNK, Uttaranchal and Chandigarh, where there is no use of uh, bio-fertilizers and uh, they are harming our mother earth. We performed various experiments in the land quality and analyzed our reports and want to discuss uh, the reports among all the students of the East, among all the students of Delhi who are participating in the National Science Congress. This exercise had brought them out of the four walls of the school and narrow world of textbooks. The creative energy so unleashed in the process 
resulted in more than 150 research project reports which were presented in 10 different technical sessions. Each young scientist was determined to solve a real problem faced by the society around them, determined to take their research to a logical end. Now I come across the efforts made after our selection from the district level. We held a meeting with a guide teacher where we decided to make a single phytofilter. We made it and did its testing for zinc, copper and lead ions. And our conclusions drawn were that our phytofilter successfully removes all these three metal ions. In this filter, the layer of all the three phytofilters that we made earlier are arranged. In addition, there is a layer of the eucalyptus bark that basically removes chromium. After making this phytofilter, we started with our industrial visits. We visited five industries. First was Pradeep and Virokips. It basically manufactures water treatment plants. And the company head, we displayed our project before him and he offered us to introduce backflow provision in it and we followed his suggestion. Our second industrial visit was at Leptronics and the highly impressed by our project, his head, RK Sharma, offered to test our samples. So we sent the samples and they tested and reports are just enclosed in the file. Till morning in this uh, 18th Children's Science Congress, we have evaluated uh, 14 projects in the first session. After which we, uh, most, of the, no, most of the projects that are uh, prepared by the uh, child scientists are very, very much encouraging. Uh, today in the forenoon session that we have evaluated around 15 projects and uh, most of the projects are very simple, innovative type and also they are practical. Dr. Ravindran Keskar in a very interesting manner demonstrated how learning maths could be fun. Origami was creatively used by him to communicate All answers are right answers, but it's not the answer. Okay, so now the answer is I'll cut short. I'll cut short. Fold perpendicular bisector of the altitude of the isosceles triangle formed on each side of regular pentagon. Main dohrata hoon, mene kya kaha. Har bhuja par bane samadvi bhuj tribuj ke uncha ika lambar dhak banai hai. Fold perpendicular bisector of the isosceles triangles formed on perpendicular bisector of earlier process. You can see this, isn't it? During the day, children also interacted with eminent scientists from other parts of the country through video conferencing. Sir, well, my question is, uh, why is oxygen known as the highest dielectric constant? I know it's 180 times. Whenever you take any other element, you have to do it by 180 times. But still, I don't know what is the cause why it is highly dielectric constant. Water has a very high dielectric constant. Yeah. Water has very high dielectric constant. Now, usually any substance which has very high dipole moment, you know what is dipole moment? That's also but my dog. I know about polar moments. The day ended with the Meet the Scientist session 